Wasabi, you guys. We have a very intimidating Gaussian integral looking integral. Uh, <laughs> yes, this is... It's it's technically a Gaussian integral, but you're probably thinking, okay, but how? What do we? How do we even do this? So, don't freak out. It's okay. Or the you know the first thing, let u equal x square, right? We're gonna start small. We're gonna start small. Okay, start small. So we have zero to infinity, and then we have a half for the x, and then we have x to the power of four, which is u square e to the negative u square du. Okay, cool. So we're starting off small. Okay, start off small. If you see something scary looking or intimidating you, just start small and then flow. Flow to where it takes you. In this case, I've seen this so many times, right? We've seen this so many times. I could literally just answer square root of pi over 4, right? Because I've seen this so many times. But for those who haven't seen this integral, let me show you. Okay. Whenever you see something like this, you do integration by parts. So it's u times uh, u e to the negative u square. Okay, then you get negative one here, and you get negative half of e to the negative u square. Okay, so this and this, right? You compute zero infinity. It's going to equal to zero. So what you're left off is we have. Don't forget this half. Do not forget this half. Okay, so combine it with this, we get one fourth from zero to infinity of e to the negative u squared du. Oh, there you go. Now you got yourself a Gaussian integral. So this is equal to one fourth of square root of pi over two. So our answer, like I said, this is equal to the square root of pi over eight. And that should be our answer. Okay. All right. So I hope that helps. Again, start small, let u equal x squared. Right? It looks awkward, it looks unusual. Start small, and then thankfully this u sub actually does lead us to some somewhere that we're familiar with. For those who aren't familiar with this, integrate by parts. Whenever you see u square or x squared times a Gaussian function, integrate by parts. This is how you solve this integral here. Okay? Alright, hope that helps, and I'll see you guys in the next video.